For people to make, whether it was 1635 or whether it was 1900, for people to make that trek across the ocean meant they gave up everything in life. They took their life savings, they sold their houses, whatever they had. So I wanted to understand exactly why each and every one in the family line did that. Well, on our way to Menden, we just passed through um, one of the first towns that was actually founded by Benjamin Albee and, and his group of friends from Braintree, uh, which was Medfield. And uh, he settled here in Medfield. I think the four of his uh, six kids were born here in Medfield. He was a selectman in Medfield in the 1640s uh, and 1650s. Um, and it was here that uh, he was, came up with the idea or made the proposal that um, they needed to start another town a little further south because they found this meadow land that was absolutely perfect for establishing a township. So are we can leave the Senate? No, we're not. What I particularly enjoy most is going out and kicking gravestones um, and you know, see what comes out of them. All right, we're in, we're in Menden now. We're coming up to, uh, yeah, this is sign for the airport. Uh, we're coming up to Mill River, where, is, where Benjamin Alby built the grist mill, which um, he agreed to do contractually um, um, for the right to have a couple of hundred acres of land across the street if he got it up and running by 1665. I think there's a place for me to pull in, I hope. If not, I'll just go beyond it now. Benjamin Eleven, who was the, the progenitor of all of this, um, is either buried in Medfield or he may very well, I know he died in Medfield, he may very well have been moved here and buried here. What we're looking for is in the late 1600s. In, in the 1640s, particularly the Puritans, 1670s, 1680s, um, they typically didn't use headstones. So my best guess is that James 10 and Benjamin 9, um, the 10th and 9th generation, are both buried here someplace. Boston's Bob Alby has been researching his ancestors for around 15 years. He's traced his family history from Africa to Scandinavia, through William the Conqueror to the New World, where the early Albi settled towns, battled Indians, and fought in the Revolutionary War. I've been pretty successful. I think I've only run into a couple of brick walls, but I think for the most part, I've gotten quite a few back there. Um, probably identified in doing so um, over a thousand what I would call grandparents. Just looking at the Alby line, we're always told to believe that somehow we came from Maine and that was it. So I wanted to be able to prove that, that we did come from Maine. Never in my wildest dreams that I ever figured that I would go back all the way to 1635 with that group to a gentleman, Benjamin, which would be my 11th great-grandfather, and that he would be from here in Boston. And that his meanderings around the Boston area as he developed land and moved on and moved on with his family would take me within five miles of the place that I spent all my life. And the fact that he was an integral part of the Boston of 1640, 1650 um, really rang true with me because I see myself as an integral part of the, of the Boston of 2000. 